So I always start off my Sundays doing laundry, um, doing my laundry, get my uniforms ready for the next week. Um, they give us two lab coats, three uniform shirts, and three pair of pants. So I wash my clothes every Sunday. It's a nice, beautiful day outside today in Michigan. It's fall time. I have leaves all on the ground in front of my house, but... Yeah, it's a beautiful, sunny Sunday for week five. I got me some donuts and coffee from Tim Horton so I can study. Let me tell you about the EAQs. I think I have before in other videos, but it's something that we have at our school. I'm sorry, at my school for students um, to become more... Um, knowledgeable about a certain subject they give us EAQs and they are um, a part of our weekly assignments and you have to have them done by the end of the semester it's very important to do these EAQs because if you don't it could be just two points that you need four points six points who knows how many points you need to pass the class with the C plus or better you might just need that one point or two points. And if you don't do your EAQs, then that's going to be the difference between you passing or failing a class. So every assignment that the school tells you to do, try to make it a priority. Even if you think it's not that important or like you can, you can skip an assignment or skip a week or, fall, or just, you know, fall behind. Every single thing that's assigned to you, look at it as a priority. So make sure you have your EAQs done by the deadline which most of the time is the, the end of the semester by 5 p.m. But I advise to do it as early as possible because the EAQs, um, they can be pretty lengthy. Like some of them, I, I just sat and did some of them for three hours. So, you know, like I said before in other videos, don't listen to what other people tell you who went to the school before. Listen to what the professors tell you. Listen to what the administrators tell you because um, they are the ones who make the rules. They are the ones that give you the grades. And they are the ones who got the final say so not some classmates who've been who went there before be real careful with that and try to follow all the rules and do all the assignments and this right here is basically just telling you that i finished at intermediate level and this right here is um basically telling me that i finished at intermediate level when i finished the eaq and in the syllabus it will tell you to finish all eaqs at at least an intermediate level in order to be to get the points you got to finish at intermediate level so make sure you stay on top of that throughout the process of your assignments early in the morning it's probably like 7 30 which is usually supposed to be bright outside in michigan it's fall time so next weekend is daylight savings time so we're gonna set the time back an hour but right now I'm about to take my daughter to school and it's pitch black outside and gas is about 370 on average so it took me about 70 dollars to fill my tank up i want to say <sighs> so i put gas in my car every day driving from michigan to ohio because i never want to uh, just have just to have a ticket gas it might be something crazy in traffic or i have to sit there and I don't want to have to worry about trying to rush to a gas station. So I try to leave Michigan every day that I go to school with a full tank of gas. So if I come home with a half a tank, I make sure I have a full tank before I leave out for school the next day. Only one time I ran close to running out of gas and I had to rush and get some gas. I don't ever want to do that again. So, and it's, it's, it's Halloween today. It's a rainy day. And the dark, being dark outside early in the morning and raining, it's just, it's just a bit much for me, you know? <laughs> it's a bit much, so. We gonna, we gonna keep good vibes, though. Let's see, yep. It's about 7.40 and it's pitch black outside. About to take my daughter to school. No matter what, on days like this, you know, try to stay positive and just tell yourself, like, you know, just think about the end goal. Don't listen to other people 
even the voices in your head don't listen to those voices that that start complaining about the current situ- current situation just focus on you know when you're done with the programs a year from now you know so i don't know what i'm doing with this camera flipping and flopping but so today was a good day it was monday right now it's monday night and i'm studying for my practical tomorrow in anatomy and physiology one one of my favorite classes and i'm just looking over the structure of the eye we got to know every part of the eye the muscles well not every part of the eye but this week we just focusing on the, the outer surface and the main muscles and the main components of the eye for eight, that we need to learn for anatomy and physiology one so i do got the printouts that we that we got from from class from lab i'm watching a youtube video and i'm also drawing out the eyeball and labeling it so i can have more because I'm, I'm actually like i, I learn more I'm, I'm like a visual learner but i also have to like see it and hear it and even sometimes like touch it so this is what i'm doing right now i'm studying and making my own study guide and this program is a lot because it's even if you're not a person who cram who crammed in school and crammed during studying like this program makes you a crammer because you have a short amount of time to do things everything is fast paced so and this is me the next morning getting ready i got here super early in the morning class starts at eight o'clock on on my lab days on tuesdays but i got here at 7 30 which means i left out the house about maybe six o'clock to get to school a little bit before eight o'clock so i can have time to study and for our anatomy and physiology um labs uh, we have something called a practical we have two this is my first term so in term one if you have anatomy uh, you're going to have to do well i don't know it might change because each each um time new students come in they might change up things but i'm just saying me personally for the class i'm taking right now anatomy we have to do two practicals and practicals pretty much um is tests you have to take um with the actual model uh, my, uh, a body part or body function or body body system so the practical you have to label um certain body parts and um in lab and it's considered a test and it's a major part of your grade well let me let me not st- stop let me stop saying your let me start let me say my because it might change uh, like i said each each term students come in it might be something different so in my case uh, the practicals we have two for term one and it's 18 percent for each one so it's 18 percent for practical one and 18 percent for practical two which is a lot. Um, it's a major part of your grade. And as I'm recording this, um, excuse me, as I'm recording the audio for this video, um, I already took the practical. Um, I actually recorded the audio weeks later because <laughs> I'm so behind uh, with recording and upda- updating videos because the nursing program is so hectic. But this is actually me recording for week five at the end of week seven. I'm talking about it at the end of week seven, so. But the practical, um, I think I got, yeah, I got a B on this practical that I took today. And um, it was tricky because the parts that you study for, um, the professor actually added extra words, I mean, extra body parts that has nothing to do with what we study. And it's kind of a good thing because it prevents people from just guessing the answers and if you actually know it then you're not going to put the wrong answer that don't belong on there at all so um yeah i got to be on this practical and we pretty much have to label different body parts and different body functions like i said it is halloween so this is in a student hangout area this little they got a lot of nice halloween decorations (laughs) floating around whatever so back at home in Michigan, and it's a nice sunny day. Um, it was kind of, I think it was, was it raining earlier? But you can see the fall. It's fall outside, all the leaves in my grass. 
I have trees everywhere, so got to get these leaves up. But it's a beautiful day. It was. I was a bit stressed out trying to study for my exam. But sometimes when I'm studying, I just tell myself, like, don't study. Because mm -hmm. I think it's a such thing as overstudying. So I, I did good, though. I got to be. So this is Wednesday. I'm in the bathroom taking selfies or whatever I'm doing in the mirror. <laughs> it's Wednesday. And I have a exam. A 60 question exam. Oh, I think it was a 71 question exam for one of my nursing classes. And um, this is a critical thinking exam. Critical thinking. Um, I really don't study that much for that for that class because um, I, the class is mostly about um, how to think like a registered nurse. So this is me back home later on that day back in michigan from ohio and it is wednesday so that's i go to school monday tuesdays and wednesdays monday is my lecture day for two of my classes and then tuesday is my lab for two of my classes and then i have all three of my classes on wednesdays only so today was a full day of school from 2 15 I'm sorry, for 10, 15 in the morning till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's still sunny outside, surprisingly. But I'm feeling real good because it's, it's week five and each term is 10 weeks. So right now I'm at the halfway point and so far so good with my grades. I'm getting in a good groove of a schedule. And um, I do see a few students who um came to orientation or maybe even started in some of my classes who are not no longer in class anymore um that's their personal um problems i don't you know i don't get people people business but i'm just saying like you will see some people start the classrooms will be a certain size and as time passes they may get smaller but that has nothing to do with you so just stay focused on your goal and this is me the next day taking my daughter to get her shoes and dress for her award ceremony. And that's why I want to say make sure you take time out for your family and still try to have um, a little bit, little bit of time for the important things. Um, because, yes, you are in a nursing program and it is hard, but you still have a family to take care of. And this is me. I just put on some slacks and some flat heels. I really don't like to wear flat shoes, but I have a bad knee right now. So with my knee heel up, I'll be able to wear regular heels again. But my daughter at her ceremony, getting ready to receive her award for testing high on state levels for reading and math. So I, I feel good to be able to leave the house for a few hours to celebrate her and she was happy i will say that it's all about balance when you're in a nursing program make sure you have um just a, enough time for um things other than homework and studying all the time because especially when it's an accelerated program like mine still make time for your personal life and um know what's important what's not important because just one day of not focusing can put you behind for the for the rest of the week so yeah just prioritize and take a couple of um, hours out the week for yourself not too much but you know in your family to balance things out because i will say one thing when you're in a registered nurse program and you have a family um you're actually, your, your whole household is in the nursing program, not just you. Everybody has to pour some type of weight and, um, you know, it's, it's a team effort for you to finish school. So it's all about balance. And, okay, this is week five, a quick summary. So make sure you follow and watch the other weeks. And um, my experience at Hondros, as I said, so far so good. And subscribe and see you soon. Bye.